Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Lok Quinn. Today you, I will be talking about how to repair a denture for a patient during the emergency visits where there is a limited time, the technician is not available, you need to get back the denture so the patient go to work on the same day. Uh, situation often happen in the dental office where the patient come in with a broken tube and a on the front of their smile and uh, you need to somehow add that tube in a denture so they can the patient can go to work uh, in this particular video you will learn how to add a porcelain tube that broken from the existing abutment of the denture how to add it on the existing denture you will see check it out hi everyone Take a look at this situation. Your patient come in. He or she broke the tube number 11 with the post inside the crown. And um, you need to evaluate what you should do for this case. How do you handle this? Before you start the case, evaluate the bite. This particular case, the patient have very deep bite. This is one of the reasons why the canine will knock out. Uh, tube number 11 in this particular case have recurrent decay. That's why when a patient were eating something hard, it's broken. So that tube needs to be removed. However, if you remove and you don't put the tube in, the patient cannot go to work. The patient don't have a backup denture. Um, it's time for you to be hands-on. Uh, what I'm doing right now is to reduce the uh, number 11 subgingivally two to three millimeter deep, creating some room for the acrylate reline material. What I will uh, show you in this particular case is how to add that number 11 on the denture and extract the two on the same day visit if you have time and deliver this denture on the same visit. The next step is to create the meso retention from the number 12 and the distal retention of tube number 10. Now after you did meso and distal uh, retention uh, grooves, you're now doing the palatal metal frame retention grooves and rough more the surface of the, uh, the base, metal base. Now uh, we are creating retention from the broken porcelain crown. Using diamond bird, we can drill through the porcelain on the meso and distal of the crown. The deeper you put the grooves, the more stronger retention that you can get. You also have to be careful not to break the porcelain because if you break the porcelain then uh, you no longer have a tube to do this procedure. You also have to create more room at the base of the crown from the buildup and the tooth structure that broken inside the crown. Remove as much as you can so you can have some room to uh, get retention for the, from the acrylate material. Now. We put all together, we rely with acrylate material. Wait for about 5-10 minutes. Material set. You can trim. Start trimming the accessory material off and start polish the patient uh, denture. It is rewarding to be able to help the patient on the same day visits. Imagine we, if we, we are the patient, we have to go home with a missing tooth, uh, but uh, it's very difficult. You know, you gotta go to work, you gotta eat, you gotta talk to your spouse, it's all, it's very uncomfortable to miss the tooth. The next step is to cut off the post from the underneath the crown. 
relays procedure done. Now we try the denture in before we take out the tooth. Patient feel comfortable, denture fit well. We're ready to take out the tooth. Next, we took out the tooth, non-surgically involved. We placed collagen membrane underneath. Patient is now trying the new uh, relay and repair denture with the porcelain crown in place on the existing denture. Noted there is no surgical involved on the, taking out the tooth in this case. If you click the next video, we will show you how to take out the tooth without facial flap procedure. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you like it. I hope it in a, inspire you to use the, your additional skill in the everyday practice.